Michael, of course, the big one today. Well, this is, what was it, 13? Uh, yeah, 13 years exactly to the day that Brendan McCullum lit up this tournament on day one with his uh, 158. And well, things have never been the same, as they say. No, I mean, it, it, you go back 13 years ago, and McCullum really kind of uh, exploded the IPL into the, the spotlight, uh, if, if it ever needed any uh, spotlight. I think. You know, I remember back in the day when it first came to light, uh, there was so much uh, cynicalism about the IPL and would it last. Um, I, I was the England captain when, you know, we first heard about the the IPL. And if you go back to those years, you know, remember the ECB went into bed with Alan Stanford for that one-off game per annum against the West Indies for that million dollars prize fund. And the ECB decided to go that way rather than buying into the IPL and it's accepting that the players needed to be playing this six to eight week window every year. Um, Giles Clark was the chairman at the time and I got on with him great but I always remember one comment that he made to me he said oh the IPL he said it's a flash in the pan that won't last far too much money that'll blow away that will go that'll be gone in two or three years time while 13 years later uh, it, it's bigger and better it, it's a fantastic product it really is you know I'm not just saying that because I'm talking to many Indians on this show but I think behind the World Cups um, it, it really is the, the biggest profile cricketing event that uh, goes around. Everyone in the UK, um, you know, I get stopped in the streets by loads of people asking about the IPL. Uh, and that's been pretty... And Joy, I mean, you were there on day one as well, right, Joy? And, uh, you know, everybody, there was there were, there were a fair number of sceptics. You know, what would happen, intercity tournament, nobody really watches Ranji, who will come to watch this? Uh, and you were you were there on kind of ground zero on day one. Your two cents worth? Absolutely. See what I did? It was <laughs> two things. One is that I mean I remember the night before, everyone was very angry because uh, the Washington Redskins cheerleaders were the performing in the first game, and yeah. then they were also the cheerleaders for the Royal Challengers. So they were basically they didn't allow us to practice in the last game, and everyone's saying, "What kind of a cricket game is this? They don't last, allow us to practice the last day." And then there was this press conference where there was Rahul Dravid and Shaurav Ganguly both there and both looking equally nervous. I've never seen both look nervous together and they're saying, who do you think will win it? And then Shaurav was very casually saying, no, I think we'll win it on our home ground, let them win it on theirs. The craziest <laughs> part about it is you have this, the first time in history you have a dressing room where you have McCullum, Ponting, that level of player, you know, McCullum, Ponting, Shaurav Ganguly. And then you have Riddhiman Shah, Ashok Dinda, Lakshmiratan Shukla. Okay. For the youngsters, first time, yeah. all these guys are in, in youngsters. It's Riddhiman Sahar's first season. These guys are playing together with guys who are established international gods. You know, yeah. so that dressing room there. I remember what, right before the last day. You know, the day before the game, taking them down and saying, "Look at this pitch. It's 22 yards. It's the same length. So yeah. don't worry about it. Don't worry about these red skin cheerleaders. Don't worry about the stilt walkers. Don't worry about the opening show. It's all about the game." The other last thing I remember is that that dressing room, the first day, the first match, the dressing room, which was the away dressing room, was the right dressing room. And after that match, after that year, it's always been the left dressing room. They said, we're never going to do it again. It's been that first match was such a bad experience. After that, they've never used that dressing room as the RCB dressing room. That is absolutely insane. Really? Well, I had no yeah, idea yeah. about that. Uh, I've never gone back to that dressing room. It was the right dressing room, was the away dressing room. It became yeah. the left the next year onwards. Never again. But tell me, Joy, something. I mean, the, the excitement leading up to that first game, of course. And then what happens in that first game? Brendan McCullum for your Kolkata team just, I mean, uh, couldn't, couldn't have a better fire starter, so to speak, right? I mean, look at that. I mean, he scores 158. And then I'm, I'm still, I still don't know. And you'll probably tell us from what the management was thinking. Why didn't Kolkata enforce the follow on? <laughs> it was it was literally like that. And I, I remember, you know, Big John Buchanan. Buchanan anyway doesn't speak too much. These are early days. Shah Rukh Khan, halfway through the game, has such a good time that he walks into the dressing room to chat with the players. Yeah. Okay. And he's really upset because Ricky Ponting was paid four hundred thousand dollars in the auction and got. And he felt that for a man like Ponting, who's a captain of Australia, he's being underpaid. So he wanted to reassure Ponting that, you know, well, we'll look after you, we'll take care of you, don't worry. We are sorry for not bidding more. How can you, I mean, nowadays you understand the meaning of it. That it's how bidding, can you bid yeah. more if there's, a, if there's one bid? How can you bid any more? Yeah. So that's not the point. But those were the such early days. And the other thing is in Shahrukh's eyes, that was, okay, you know, I have a hit film. So, you know, 
this is a hit cricket team and it'll go on we'll keep hitting hits who wants to know what kind of tumultuous seasons will follow after that